Revelation 739. From the 9th of January 1939. Continuation of number 737 and 738. Laws of Nature. Transformation and Over-Exploitation of the Earth. Therefore, hear the voice from above, it is a daring game to want to defy nature, and in areas which should serve the calm, peaceful people for the nourishment of their bodies. The over-exploitation of the earth is driven too strongly. In such a region, immature, nature spirits must be set free in immense numbers, which will now also express themselves and their activity will then by no means remain hidden from the environment, but the eruptions of the earth's interior will prepare themselves, which are precisely the activity of such freed nature spirits. Such a process can only be understood by those people who try to imagine what tremendous activity must develop when the rigid form, which contains spiritual things, is suddenly loosened and all spiritual things, which can never remain inactive, now pass over into full activity, and, that this activity must somehow express itself now. People do not consider that they themselves are the ones who suffer and that the activity of the nature spirits itself are felt in such a way that sooner or later the peace of the people is badly disturbed by changes in nature which in turn call in to question the nourishment of the people and also make themselves felt in other ways, in that they have an unfavorable effect on the mind, on the souls of the people and so the people inhabiting such regions are exposed to bad influences of the immature spiritual beings that have become free. Only a man advanced in the spiritual can truly recognize and judge this. People without such knowledge accept all these phenomena as a matter of course and do not know that they themselves are to blame for the physically and mentally miserable situation in which they are on earth, and that only through the strong desire for profit, which is the reason why one tries to penetrate into the earth to take away as many values as possible from it. But such striving can never find the approval of the Creator and so an action against his will and against the laws of nature, will also bring about a transformation of the earth, which does not have a favorable effect for the people and still much less for their souls. For man should not fight against the laws of nature, if he does not want to suffer damage to body and soul. Amen.